Recently, the impact of man-made debris on ocean ecosystems has not only captured the attention of the scientific community, but the general public as well. Most efforts to document this marine debris have focused on beaches, coastal habitats, and the surface waters of the open ocean. While it is easy for us to notice evidence of human impacts where we live, work, and play, there are remote areas on our planet that we rarely see. One of those places is the deep sea. Our ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface, but with an average depth of 12,000 feet, the deep sea floor is almost as inaccessible as the moon. Due to the challenges and high costs of conducting research deep in the ocean, we know relatively little about human debris in this vast habitat. With the increasing use of advanced technologies like remotely operated vehicles, we are uncovering the far-reaching extent of unmanaged garbage. For the past 25 years, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute has recorded evidence of debris up to 13,000 feet deep and 300 miles offshore. Ambari has explored the waters off of Central and Southern California, the Pacific Northwest, Hawaii, and the Gulf of California. We've seen trash everywhere we've looked. Ambari biologists analyzed 3.6 million deep sea observation records from over 18,000 hours of archival video. More than 1,100 observations of marine debris were recorded from the greater Monterey Bay region alone. The majority of debris items were single-use recyclable items. Plastic shopping bags and aluminum beverage cans were most common overall. Surprisingly, plastic and metal were found relatively more frequently at deeper depths, suggesting that the extent of marine debris may be far greater than known to date. Garbage may be quickly buried and hidden from view, leading us to further underestimate the problem. The long-term effects of trash on deep sea life are largely unknown. But the leaching of chemicals, entanglement, and biological changes to the ecosystem are certainly detrimental. This shipping container full of more than a thousand steel-belted tires was found on the seabed. Certain seafloor animals not normally found in this habitat settled on the hard surface in the middle of an otherwise soft, muddy seafloor, disrupting the natural biological community. Degradation of man-made debris items in the deep sea is slow. Because there is no sunlight and very low oxygen, plastic could persist for centuries. As it breaks down over time, plastic fragments into very small particles that are more likely to be ingested by the tiny animals living on and within the sediment. So what can be done? Unmanaged trash can enter the ocean from land, even far inland and can be carried long distances by local waterways and wind. Some debris may be discarded or lost overboard from boats. After it reaches the deep sea, it is far too expensive and impractical to locate and retrieve these items. The best solution is to reduce our reliance upon single-use throwaway items. Recycling, reusing, and properly disposing of trash items keeps litter from ever entering our ocean. Ambari researchers hope that this study will help increase awareness of the growing problem of man-made debris in all parts of the ocean. This is Kira Schlenning at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.